This is a video tutorial for people who are new to showing dogs. Um, there are many ways to find the information that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to show you an easy, straightforward way that has um, provided all the information that I need most of the time that I've been showing. Um, there are websites available that you can subscribe to for um, a fee and they have a lot more services than what I'm going to show you and after you get started you might find those um, very useful. A lot of people do. But what I'm going to show you is a very simple uh, way to do this. It doesn't require any um, any paid subscription anywhere. The information is all available free online. Um, the tutorial is going to show you how to find dog shows, find the premium lists for the dog shows, uh, get to the superintendent's website, that's where you can make an entry online, how to find a hotel in the area, how to look up the breed counts and the judging program which are available after the entries close. The premium list contains all the information about the show, the date, the location, the kennel club that's holding the show, uh, what breeds can be shown, the judges, and the classes that are available. And it also has an entry form on it, um, or included in it. The, one of the most important pieces, again, about the premium list is the date the entries close. Uh, most closing dates are 2.5 to 3 weeks before the actual show. Your entry must be received by the closing date and time, and there are no late entries allowed. Um, I've so many times uh, people have intended to enter, but just the entry date got passed and they they didn't get entered, which is um, always a little bit sad. The breed counts and the judging program are available again after the entries close. The breed counts are usually available within a few days after they close. The judging program may not be available until about a week before the show. Um, so that's like seven to ten days after the entries close. And the judging program is very important because it tells you what time you should be there, what time your dogs, your breed of dog will be shown, and then which ring um, that they're going to be judged in. I'm going to be using a website called infodog.com, www.infodog.com for most of the information I'm going to show you. I'm going to go to the first oval on the left side and click on that for show information. Then I'm going to go to the last oval here and search by state. I'm going to click then on my state, Oregon. And here are a list of upcoming shows in the state of Oregon. This is the kennel club listed here on the left side that's putting on the show. This is the type of show. I'll talk more about that in a minute. This is the city the show is in, the show date here, the uh, entry closing date, which is important to pay attention to. Uh, sometimes they have past entry information on the show. That's entries that have happened in different years. Um, and some information about the judging panel. In other words, what judges will be judging which breeds. So I'm going to go uh, talk about now the type these initials um, talk about what kind of type of show it is. And if you want to know what type, these in, what it means, what these initials mean, indicate which type, you can click here on View Table of Event Types. And it goes through, and there's like 15 or 20, maybe 30 different kinds of shows here, or more than that even. So the, ten, the shows that I tend to go to are the all breed shows, the limited breed shows, Limited breed is usually, um, there are different kinds of clubs, um, like there's a working dog club, which is multiple breeds, uh, all breeds that are in the working group. And so they would have a limited breed show. And there's also S for specialty, right here, for a specialty that's um, where only one breed is being shown in that show. So now I'm going to go back. That's what the types mean. So you want to look for all breeds generally. When you're first starting, you want to look for all breeds. Occasionally there'll be specialties in the area, but it's usually once a one, maybe one or two a year, depending upon what um, state you're in and how active uh, your clubs are there. Uh, where I'm living, it's a couple a year. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to find an all breed show in Oregon. And here we are, the Klamath Dog Fanciers have an all breed show. 
on Saturday. Here's the closing date, their past entry, and the judging panel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Klamath Dog Fanciers and Grid link here, and it'll show me the InfoDog page which describes this show. So here's the superintendent for the show. That's very, um, very good information because you can click on this link to do the entry. Uh, here it tells you where the show loca location is. It can give you an area map and driving instructions. Here you can book your hotel. What's nice about booking your hotel, hotel through here is that it already specifies um, the location of the show here and has this, you know, pets allowed. So you'll, in the list of hotels that it'll bring up, um, they'll show distances from the hotel grounds and it will only show hotels in which pets are allowed. On the left hand side here you have the premium list, the link to the premium list. This is a PDF document. We can look very quickly at what the premium list looks like. Here's the PDF of the premium list. It gives the date and location of the show, it gives you parking information, um, vets that are nearby, there are rules and regulations about the show. At the very bottom of the um, PDF here for the premium list are entry forms that you can print out and fill out manually. Here we go. Check the boxes, fill out the information, and then mail them in um, uh, to the show superintendent. I believe you need to include both of these last two pages even if you don't fill anything out on the second page. I have been <coughs> for the last few years entering only online and haven't used the manual method. Uh, the address to where you send this to is listed here as well as the fees. Yeah. The next couple of things I'm going to show you are the breed counts and the judging program. So here I am on the list, uh, InfoDog's list of shows in Washington, and I happen to know that um, the judging program, breed counts and judging program information are now available for this Moses Lake show. And so I'm going to click on the link here. And the breed counts are usually available within maybe two to four days after the entries close. The judging program takes longer because they have to um, they just have to schedule everything. The superintendent does, and it's usually available uh, maybe about a week uh, prior to the show. So now I'm going to go um, to the superintendent for the show. In this case, it's Ba Ray. And on Ba Ray's site, how they list their closed shows is they list them on the left side here and you find the show um, that you're interested in. We're interested in this Afraid Moses Lake show. We're going to click on this. And it tells us indeed that sorry the entries for this show have closed. But up above here it has links. And first we'll look at the breed counts and we'll talk about those. So I'm going to click on the breed count links. And this is grouped by, um, by dog group, again like so many things. And I'm going to go down to the working group and find Great Danes because that's what I'm mostly interested in. And there we go. So there are 20 Great Danes entered in the show. This is specifically the show on Saturday. Um, there are six class dogs, nine class bitches, and then shown in best of breed there are two special dogs and three special bitches. And specials are dogs that have already earned their championships or grand championship titles. And class dogs, um, which the six and nine refer to, are dogs that are competing for championship points. They haven't yet been awarded or earned enough points to be called a champion. So that's how we find out about breed counts, is uh, by looking at uh, the superintendent's site, finding the show, finding the breed count link, and then you can look in this list and you can see what the breed counts are. Of even more interest is, um, and I'm going to go back, is the judging program because that's going to tell you when your dog will actually be judged, when you need to be there and when the dog will be judged. Talk t to your handler um, to find out exactly uh, what time, um, how much ahead of your ring time that they want your dogs there. But generally rule of thumb has been an hour that I've um, understood. But again, uh, if you're having somebody else handle um, 
ask them what they would like and then if you have a young dog too being there even earlier and walking them through the show ring and such um, or excuse me not the show ring but the show uh, show grounds and getting used to all the hubbub is a good thing so at least an hour ahead of time before your ring time and how we find the judging program is we look under show documents here again this is the page uh, on Ball Ray that's describing this particular show on Saturday so we're going to go down to show documents and here we're going to find a link to the judging program which is again a PDF and here there's a couple of pieces of information that we're particularly interested in again um, the judging program tells you the name of the show where it's located the judges and so forth um, it also has uh, your judging schedule listed in two separate ways one is by the ring so here you can see ring one ring two ring three um, this is a small show so there's uh, this is just a one page piece of information sometimes on larger shows um, there are many many pages of these rings and it can be hard to find where your dogs are at so the first thing I do is go through and look at the index of breeds which tells you alphabetically your which ring you're in and the specific time that you're showing so I'm uh, here is the 20 Great Danes down here and uh, here the ring time excuse me the ring is 4 and the time is 1015 and that's the earliest your dog will be judged is uh, at 1015 so 20 Great Danes in ring 4 at 1015 that's on Saturday now I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm going to look at Sundays. This is the program of judging for Sunday. And I look here on the index of breeds and I find out on Sunday um, that the ring time is 9 a.m. and the ring again is 4. That's not um, normal. You can be, you aren't necessarily in the same ring. You can be in different rings on different days and have the same time each day or completely different times each day. So once um, I found the ring so now I know to look in this judging program up here which specific to ring to look at and I can get an even more information about uh, judging I noticed here we were at 9 a.m. Um, in ring 4 so here we are at ring 4 and at 9 a.m. and I noticed that there are breeds ahead of us so there are boxers, dobermans, and german pinchers ahead of us see there are eight boxers, eight dobermans and one German pincher. So obviously we are not actually, although the ring time is nine, our dog, the judging of the Great Danes won't start right at nine. Not unless all these dogs are absent, which is quite unlikely. And how you can figure out about, again, an approximate time on when you might actually start judging is, is it takes um, two to two and a half minutes they allow uh, per dog for judging. So on boxers uh, here for these eight dogs, you know, 2.5 times 8 is roughly 20-ish minutes. So there, you could say that um, this breed would be allocated 20 minutes, and the Doberman's allocated another 20 minutes, and then the one German pincher. So that's roughly 40 minutes after. So you could sort of guess that your ring time where you actually may start judging um, Great Danes might be at 940. Although one, one big caveat here is you don't know how many dogs will be absent. So they could have only half the boxers show up. And so what you think might be, you know, 40 plus minutes could actually be, you know, maybe 20, 25. So although this gives you an idea, guess as to when you'll actually start judging your Great Danes, um, don't assume that every dog's going to show up that's listed ahead of you. So there you have um, how to find the breeding, or excuse me, the judging program, and what inf important information there is in the program. And so I hope you found this um, this video to be helpful.